Hi there, I'm Jake, and it's time to set up a DMARC record for your domain. Google and Yahoo are setting new email standards, and one of the requirements is to set up a DMARC authentication method for your emails. What is DMARC and how to set it up? DMARC, aka Domain-Based Message Authentication, allows email receivers like Gmail to verify if an incoming email matches the information they have about the sender. And if it doesn't, DMARC tells them what they should do with such a message. The other authentication methods like SPF and DKIM also work to protect you against unauthorized use of your email. The thing is that SPF and DKIM work in isolation. There is no universal law to say what the receiver should do when those records fail. One receiver may redirect it straight away to the trash folder, while others will put it to additional tests to decide whether to place it in the inbox. Adding a DMARC record to DNS will allow you to set rules for the incoming emails. Should they be quarantined, rejected, or let through? There are three possible DMARC policies here. None, quarantine, or reject. Usually, Google and other email providers did not require strict DMARC policies. So you can start with a none policy. In emails, this means that you can start monitoring who's sending emails using your domain without receivers taking any action just yet. Once you know how to work through DMARC policies, you can switch from none to quarantine and later on to reject. Stricter enforcement better protects your domain from spoofing. The other useful thing about setting up DMARC is that you'll start getting reports from your email service provider, which you can then analyze with tools such as Postmark or Demartian. Such reports include stats about all emails sent from your domain, so you see which IP addresses are sending emails on your behalf, whether SPF or DKIM passed, and the total number of sent emails. If you notice that the number of reported emails is higher than what you've actually sent, this means that someone other than you is using your domain. First things first. You need to make sure your SPF or DKIM record is set up. You need at least one of those records to proceed with DMARC. But don't worry. If you don't have them already, just pause this video and see the description below, where you find direct links to either SPF or DKIM step-by-step -step guides. So first, you need to generate a DMARC record with any tool of your choice. In this case, we use Demartian, but there are plenty of alternatives on the market. Let's click on Generate DMARC record. For now, let's choose the None policy for all emails. Then, add your DMARC record to the DNS. You can modify the policy according to data as you go. If you have any questions about DMARC, check more resources in the description or drop us a comment. Make sure to check out other videos on how to set up authentication records like SPF or DKIM. Now, if you've gone through the process of setting up DMARC with me, you must have at least one of these. But it's always good to have a full package. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.